been the, the sport of strongman now for 10 years, uh, started in the 105s and now to progress up to you know, first compete at Worlds, then get top 10 at Worlds and now, now to win Britain's Strongest Man, to call myself the, the strongest man in Britain is, is fantastic. The boys that are at work have obviously been fantastic, you know, from the, the staff who have kind of covered, covered my shifts, I've had the days off uh, to train and, and obviously you go and compete and uh, all the players as well, you know, they've, they've uh, had messages from, from them afterwards, you know, well, before as well, wish me luck and then afterwards just congratulating me and obviously coming today with the trophy and the, the boys have absolutely loved it in the meeting, it's been a, a good little energy giver. I, I used to be a player, uh, you know, I, I kind of found that I was a really good athlete but maybe just didn't have that position on the 15s field, so we, we see a lot of the kids come through who are like that, you know, maybe they're, they're fantastic athletes but they just don't know what their position is on the 15s field uh, and that was me. Uh, and that's when I kind of, you know, realised that maybe a strength sport was probably a better way for me to go. Ironically, I was I played in the back row and was told, well, probably not really big enough to play in the back row, so we'll, we'll move you out to the wing. Obviously, I was quite fast and explosive. Uh, I tend to play my best rugby around 102 to 105 kilos on the wing. Uh, so yeah, pretty a big winger, but yeah, maybe just just took a little bit too much too uh, too much time to learn how to kick, etc. So yeah, it didn't really work out for me. I'm just back training uh, at home after work and. And then I'll uh, be prepping for Europe's Strongest Man uh, on the 4th of April and then, and then World's Strongest Man uh, at the end of May. So yeah, pretty full calendar this year.